Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about finding the measure of an angle using something we've learned about before, equations. Let's see how this is done. So let's take a look at example A. In example A, we're talking about complementary angles. So we've got to remember that complementary angles have a sum of 90 degrees. We can use this information to write an equation. So if I take a look at my angles there, one of my angles is x plus 10. That's not an amount I know. And the next angle is 2x plus 20. Again, not an amount I know. However, I do know that both of them are going to equal 90. So I can set up an equation to help me do this. So my first expression is x plus 10. My second expression is 2x plus 20. So if I know if I add those two things together, that they will equal 90 because again they're complementary angles they equal 90 degrees so I know if I can add my x plus 10 and my 2x plus 20 together and equal 90 I can set up an equation but wait I just did it's already an equation so the first thing I need to do is combine like terms so 1x plus 2x is 3x and 10 plus 20 is 30 so my new equation is 3x plus 30 equals 90 so that's good now I've got an equation a two-step equation I know how to solve so the first thing I'm going to do is remove my constant, which is positive 30. So I'm going to subtract 30 from both sides. Positive 30, negative 30 are going to cancel out. 90 minus 30 is 60, leaving me with 3x equals 60. Then i got to get rid of my coefficient, so I'm going to get rid of that 3 by dividing by 3 on both sides. When I do that, 3 divided by 3 is going to give me 1, or 1x, and 60 divided by 3 is going to give me 20, so x equals 20. Now this is all well and good, but all I really know is x equals 20. I don't actually know the measures of my angles. I'm going to have to do something with that 20 to figure out what my angle measures are. And what I'm going to have to do is substitute that 20 in for wherever I see x. So in the first angle, I'm going to plug it in where my 20 is, where 20 is in for x, 20 plus 10 equals 30. So my first angle measure is 30 degrees. Angle A is 30 degrees. Then I've got angle B. Angle B, I'm going to plug in my 20. This time again, I'm going to run my expressions. I'm going to do 2 times 20 because we're going to follow the order of operations. 2 times 20 is 40. 40 plus 20 is 60. So my second angle is 60 degrees. And I can check this. Does 30 plus 60 equal 90? Then yes, then they're complementary. So I've done it correctly. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Here we find ourselves at example B. In example B, we'll be talking about supplementary angles. And we need to remember that supplementary angles have a sum of 180 degrees. And again, we're going to be able to use this information to help us write an equation. So taking a look at my angles down there, I've got one angle is equal to 7x, and the other one is equal to 3x plus 10. Neither of those are in degrees. I don't really recognize them, so I'm going to have to do something in order to figure out what they are. So again, knowing that they're equal to 180 degrees is convenient because I can take my angles, and as long as I know I'm going to add them together, they're going to equal 180 degrees. So my first angle is 7x. My second angle is 3x plus 10, and I know if I add those together, I'll get 180. And it looks like I've set myself up a very nice equation, so I have to start by combining my like terms. My 10 is a constant. It's not going to combine with anything. But my x's, 7x and 3x, can combine. So 7x plus 3x is 10x. So my new equation is 10x plus 10 equals 180. So now it's a two-step equation. I'm going to go about solving it just like I get rid of every two-step equation. I'm going to move my constant first. So positive 10, the opposite of positive 10 is negative 10. So I'm going to subtract 10 on both sides. The 10 and negative 10 are going to cancel each other out, leaving me with just 10x on one side. And 180 minus 10 is 170. So 10x equals 170. Now I've got to get rid of my coefficient, which is the 10. So 10 times x, my opposite of that, I'm going to divide both sides by 10, since the inverse operation of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide both sides by 10. 10 divided by 10 is going to give me 1, or 1x. 170 divided by 10 is going to give me 17. So x equals 17. And now this is all well and good, but 17 doesn't tell me a measure of either of the angles. So I'm going to have to use that 17 and plug it back into the numbers I had in order to figure out the actual angle measures. So my first one, I'm going to plug in my 17 next to the x, and I've got 7 times 17. So 7 times 17 is 119. So my first angle is 119 degrees, angle A. 
Then I'm going to do the same thing for the 3x plus 10. I'm going to plug in 17 where the x was. 3 times 17 plus 10 gives me 61. So I know that my angle B is 61 degrees. Now I can check this again. Does 119 plus 61 equal 180? It does. And these angles are supplementary so that I know I've done it correctly. Let's see what we're getting into next. Here we find ourselves at practice number one. It says to find the measure of each angle. So I want you to try these two on your own. One is supplementary, one is complementary. I want you to pause the video now, try both problems, then press play again to see if you are right. How did you do? Were you able to get both of them figured out? Were you able to figure out X's? Were you able to plug them back in? Did you get all of the angles? Make sure that yours matches mine. If it does, we're going to move forward. If not, check each step to see where you may have made your mistake. All right, let's take a look at example C that's talking about vertical angles. So we need to remember that vertical angles are equivalent. We can use this information to write an equation where two angles are equal to each other. So since they're equivalent, we won't be able to say whether they equal 90 or 180 like we were previously, but we do know they equal each other. So if we can just put them equal against one another, then we can figure out what x is. So here I've got 6x plus 17 is one angle and 4x plus 35 is another angle, but I do know they are equal to each other. So I know that 6x plus 17 is equal to 4x plus 35 in this case because I know vertical angles are equal to each other. So now I've got an equation where I have variables on both sides. So the first thing I need to do is remove one of the variables. So I can either move the 4x or I can move the 6x. It doesn't matter but I'm going to move the 4x, that way I end up with a positive coefficient. So I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. When I do that, 4x and negative 4x are going to cancel. 6x minus 4x is going to give me 2x. The 17 and 35 weren't touched in this stage, so I'm still going to have 2x plus 17 equals 35. Now I've got a regular two-step equation. So I'm going to start by moving my constant, which is positive 17. So I'm going to subtract 17 from both sides. When I do that, positive 17 and negative 17 are going to cancel each other out. 35 minus 17 is going to give me 18, and I'm going to be left with 2x equals 18. Now I need to get rid of my coefficient, so I need to divide both sides by 2. When I do that, 2 divided by 2 is going to give me 1, or 1x, and 18 divided by 2 is going to give me 9. So x equals 9. Now that's all well and good, but it doesn't tell me what either angle equals. So I'm going to have to substitute in the 9 for x to figure out what each angle measure is. So my first angle, angle A, I'm going to substitute in my 9, and I'm going to do order of operations. 6 times 9 plus 17 is going to give me 71. And then I'm going to do the same thing with angle B. And you're thinking to yourself, they're equal. Why don't I just already write down 71 for both? Because I want to make sure that I did it correctly. So I'm going to substitute in my 9 for the second one. 4 times 9 is 36, plus 35 is going to give me 71. So they both equaled 71, which is true. Vertical angles are going to be the same measure. So angle A is going to be 71 degrees, and angle B is going to be 71 degrees. Let's move on to some practice. Here we are at practice number 2, and it's talking about finding the missing measure of an angle. But in this case, it's talking about angle A and angle B are vertical angles. Angle A is represented by 3x, and angle B is represented by 2x plus 5. It wants us to figure out the measure of each angle. This is practice, so I want you to pause the video now, try this on your own, then press play again to see if you are correct. Okay, how'd you do? Were you able to figure out that x equals 5? Again, you only have one step in this equation once you move their variables because there was 1x and just a constant, so x equals 5. Plugged it in and make sure that both your angles equal 15 degrees. The answer to this problem is not x equals 5. The answer to the problem is angle A is 15 degrees, angle B is 15 degrees. So the answer to each of these problems is what do the angle measures equal, not just what the x equals. Let's take a look at our next example. All right, let's take a look at our last example, and we'll be talking about example D and word problems. So we've got a word problem here, not a picture. It says angle C and angle D are complementary. The measure of angle C is 12 degrees less than the measure of angle D. What is the measure of each angle? 
And it tells us we can draw a picture, and that might be useful here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Again, this is not art class, it's math, so we're going to see if this will uh, doesn't have to be the best looking picture. So I'm going to draw a complementary angle because I know complementary equals 90. I've got angle D there, and I've got angle C. So now I've got to figure out which one everything equals to. So I don't know what C is, I don't know what D is, so I'm going to call those X. So I know D is X, but I know that C is actually 12 less than that. So since I don't know what D is, 12 less than X would be X minus 12. So now I've got two angles, but I don't know their measure. So again, I'm going to have to put them in an equation. But I know, since they're complementary, I can make my equation equal to 90. So I'm going to plug in x minus 12 plus x is equal to 90. I'm going to have to combine my like terms before I start. So x plus x gives me 2x. The negative 12 has nothing to combine with, so it just stays negative 12 equals 90. So now it's a two-step equation, so I'm going to solve it just like I knew every other two-step equation. I'm going to start by getting rid of my constant. The opposite of minus 12 is plus 12 on both sides. Negative 12 and positive 12 are going to cancel each other out. 90 plus 12 gives me 102, so 2x equals 102. Now I need to get rid of my coefficient, so my coefficient is 2, and it's multiplied by x, so the opposite of multiplication is division, so I'm going to divide both sides by 2. When I do that, 2 divided by 2 is 1, or 1x, one and 102 divided by 2 gives me x equals 51. So now again, I've only got x, I don't have the angle measures, so I have to plug it in. Now the good news is, is when I plug in 51 for x and d, the x equals 51, so the measure of angle d is going to be 51 degrees, right off the bat. For angle c, I have to substitute in, so I'm going to substitute in my 51 where x would be, so I'm going to end up with 51 minus 12, which is going to equal 39 degrees. So C is 39 degrees. So again, remember, the answer to these are not what is X. The answers are what does each angle measure. If you stop doing the problem after you figure out what X is, you're not going to be able to get the correct answer. Let's move on to our last practice problem. So here's practice number three. It says angle G and angle H are supplementary. The measures of angle G is 18 degrees more than five times the measure of angle H. What is the measure of each angle? So I want you to try this practice problem on your own. You're welcome to draw a picture if you want. You don't have to. Just to see if you can get it correct, go ahead and press pause now, complete the problem, then press play again to see if your answer is right. Okay, how'd you do? Were you able to figure out that x is equal to 27? Because remember, 5 times more than plus 18. So we're going to have 5x plus 18 as one of our sides and x as the other. Hopefully you figured out that x equals 27, then could substitute it in to figure out that angle G was 153 degrees and angle H was 27 degrees. If you got the answer correct, great. If not, go back and take a look at my work to see where you made your mistake. This brings us to the end of the video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you love this video, throw us a sub.